What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. By the end of this video, you will know why Navebase is naive and it's part of the series here that I'm doing for machine learning interview preparation questions that is really important if you want to go there and smash your interview. So let's get going with the Navebase straight away. First of all, I'm going to go through, you know, describing Navebase and why it's naive in words. Then I'm going to look at the math, which kind of makes more sense if you're into math as well. But first, let's dive deep and do the explanation here. So Navebase, for you, those of you who don't know, if you don't know, I think you're in the wrong place. But anyhow, is a probabilistic classifier based on Bayes' theorem. So why is this naive? Well, it has, and why it's therefore called Navebase, uh, it has a strong independence assumption between features. And, you know, this kind of sounds weird, right? But I think Jason Leo from Quora, he really described it in a nice way. So he said, if you like pickles and you like ice cream, Navebase will assume independence and give you a pickle ice cream and think that you like it. And you know, this kind of describes the nature of independence and you know, dependence as well. You know, in the world, we don't really have a lot of independent stuff, right? Especially if you're working on a data set here, as I'm assuming you're gonna do. If we have a data set of a person, we kind of can assume that in real life, the variables here in our data set aren't independent of each other. And, you know, in this case, if you actually like pickles, then maybe you like the pickle ice cream. But, you know, if if it would say as well, if you like spiders and you like ice cream, Navebase will assume independence and, and give you a spider ice cream. Um, you know, it still doesn't make sense. We, we don't want that, probably. But still, it really describes in a good manner why Navebase is naive with the assumption here that just because you like that and that, you like both of them. Assume that they are independent when they're not. So if you were going to interview, I think, you know, Jason's example here is really good. I would probably say it in that kind of sense as well. It's a nice way to put it. But, you know, being more fancy here, an A-base classifier assumes that the presence or absence of a particular feature of a class is unrelated to the presence or absence of any other feature given the class variable. You know, unrelated is the keyword here you're looking for. Just assume that they are totally unrelated. And let's go to the math here. So, you know, base theorem like we have here, it uh, kind of describes conditional probabilities, right? So you have the posterior equals the prior times the likelihood times the evidence. In that kind of sense, if we want to, you know, co compute this, we will have to use the chain rule, chain rule and we will have, you know, a lot of con conditional probabilities and this whole thing would be a mess to, uh, to calculate. And, you know, we don't want to have a mess to calculate. So by assuming this naive uh, independence here, we can kind of make this much easier as described down here. The joint probability model here can then be described in this kind of sense um, instead, which is much easier to, you know, write here and there's much less calculations going on as well, so it's more efficient in that kind of sense as well. But it's a lot easier and that's what we want to do that it turns out that doing this kind of independence assumption works well most of the time so you know it's kind of fine doing it but it's still good to know that you know making this kind of naive uh, independence assumption is kind of a stupid thing to do but it works so that's it so if you take anything from this video to your interview i would really recommend jason's quote here with the pickles and the ice cream it's a nice way to describe it uh, so yeah, we're finished by now and just want to tell you that I will upload many, many more of these kind of interview preparation questions. So if you don't want to miss out on them, hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to the subscribe button so you get notified. I upload these quite often, like every every two days. Uh, you probably don't want to miss out on that if you want to, you know, nail that interview and hit the like button as well so people actually get to see this video. Uh, it's really important, you know, we get it out there. People are supposed to get their machine learning jobs and we're gonna help them. So until next time guys, have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon again.